And on tonight, I would like to use for a thought the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Uh, the name of the Lord is, a, is pretty strong. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior, he has power over sin. He has power over sickness. He has power over demons. He even has power over death and more. I want you to know on tonight, the, the Bible encourages us to run to that name and find safety. Because there is power in that name. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. We are in the New Testament time now know the full name of the Lord Jesus Christ or Christ Jesus the Lord or other combinations of these three words I want you to know that it occurs more than 80 times in the New Testament and it is the name above all other names in Philippians Chapter 2, verse 9 through verse 11, God gave him the name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And verse 11 says, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. On tonight, the name of Jesus is to us a source of strength. It's even safety to us. It is a strong tower. And the Bible said we should run to it. Now, in very encounters with demons over the years, I don't know about you, but I have always involved the name of Jesus Christ against the evil spirit. And I want you to know that Jesus' name have always prevailed. Let us see some more aspects of this power of this strong tower. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Acts chapter 2. Verse 21. And verse 36 to verse 38. Verse 21 says. And everyone who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Verse 36 says, Therefore let all Israel be assured of this. God has made this Jesus whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. When the people heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter, and the other apostles. They said, brethren, what shall we do? And in verse 38, Peter replied to them and said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sin. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. We have experienced salvation by calling on the name of the Lord. Under the heaven, men by which, by which we must be saved. That's in Acts 
chapter 4, verse 12, salvation is found in no other name other than that name. Now, in Mark, Chapter 16, verse 15 through verse 18. He said to them, go into all the world. Preach the good news to all creation. And these signs will accomplish those who believe. In my name. Will they cast out demons? They will speak with new tongues. They will pick up snakes with their hands. And they will drink deadly poison. And it will not hurt them at all. They can place their hand on sick folk. And they will get well. The name of the Lord is a strong power. Now, supernatural signs occur in the all powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Luke chapter 10. Verse 17, the 72 returned with joy and said, Lord, even the demon submit to us in your name. In my name, they will speak with new tongues. In all for gospel. John the Baptist identified Jesus as the baptizer of the Holy Spirit. And in Acts chapter 3, verse 6, then Peter said, silver or gold I do not have, but what I have I give you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth walk. There is power in the throne tower. Now, in John chapter 16, verse 23 and verse 24, in that day, you will no longer ask me anything. I tell you the truth. My father will give you whatever you ask in my name. And verse 24 said, until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive. And your joy will be complete. There is power in the name of a strong child. Answer prayer in Jesus' name. Include prayer for healing. Ask the Father in my name, you will receive. Now, in Matthew chapter 12, verse 17 and verse 18a and verse 21, verse 17 says, This was to be fulfilled was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. And verse 18, A says, here is my servant whom I have chosen. 
Verse 21 says, in his name, the nation will be put to their own. Uh, and then we look at Acts chapter 4, verse 17 and verse 18. It said, but to stop this thing from spreading any further amongst the people, we must warn them, these men, to speak no longer in this name. They Then they called them in again and commanded them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. His name is so powerful that the devil and his people will try to stop you from using his name. You know, the people have a tendency to cuss and swear using the name of the law. The devil even hates that name. You never hear people cuss using the name of Buddha or Allah. But the name of the Lord Jesus is so strong, it kind of shake names. The name of the Lord is a strong power. The name of the Lord is powerful and safe for us. It is the name above all other names. Call on the name for salvation. Have his name called over you in water baptism. Call on his name for the mighty baptism of the Holy Ghost. You can call on his name to see signs, wonders, gifts of the Spirit, healing and demon fleeing. Call on the name God. He's always on time. In prayer, Jesus' name and ask him to fix things for you. Speak Christ's name to the nation and everything a fallen in place. There is hope in the name of Jesus. And let the name above all other names often be on your lips. You remember when the old time sanctified folk used to sing a Song that says, call on Jesus and he will answer prayer. And then, then they would begin to sing another song and says, Jesus is on the main line. Now, what Ella Thompson is trying to tell you tonight, if you sick, Call Jesus. If you need prayer, call Jesus. If your body is out of place, call Jesus. If you need deliverance, call Jesus. If you need your mind regulated, call 
Jesus. If you need some help, call Jesus. I don't know about you, but every time I call Jesus, he always come through for me. So if you got a backache, I dare you to call Jesus. If you got a headache, I dare you to call Jesus. If you broke and need some money, I dare you to call Jesus. Because Jesus is on the main line. And you can tell him what you want. The songwriter said you can call him in the morning. You can call him in the evening. You can call him late at night. I don't know about you, but God is a good God. And he means everything to me. Every time I need him, all I have to do is call him. Sometimes I have to wait, but he still Come through for me. He know everything that I need. He know everything that I want. So if you call Jesus, he will come through for you. Call him for every situation. Call him for every problem. Don't wait till you get in trouble. Call Jesus. I believe one songwriter said, don't wait till the battle's over, shout now. So what I'm saying to you is don't wait till you get in trouble. Call Jesus. Call him while things are good. Call him while you pray to. It's kind of like when you work and put a little money in the bank. And then something happened, you got something to go and get because you the deposit into your account. So use Jesus as your bank account. Deposit something in and you can get something out. Call Jesus, call Jesus, and he will come through for you. Call Jesus. And he will make a way for you. Call Jesus. He will meet a need for you. Call Jesus. And he will solve a problem for you. Call Jesus. Because the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Use it. Y'all pray for me. On tonight. We, do anyone need prayer? Next Adam family. Pray for the Roberts. Don't forget the Thompsons. Okay. Pray for the Parker family. Okay. Kill the Dunn. The Boris okay. family. Say that, the last somebody. Kill the Dunn. After Ella Dunn. Sister Melody and family. Oh, Melody, okay, okay, okay. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we're thanking you once again for your kindness, your goodness, and your tender mercy. Most of all, we thank you for being God. Oh, God, we ask you to come on in tonight. You made all of us, and you know all about it. You know our needs. You know our wants. Yeah. And you know our thoughts. Yeah. God, you can do anything but faith. Thank you, Jesus. And oh, God, we ask you to stop by the pastor's house. Oh, God, we ask you to stop by the Parker's house. Yeah, Jesus. We ask you to stop by the Robert's house. In the name of Jesus. Stop by Elder Don and family's house. <laughs> we ask you to stop by Sister Melanie's house. 
Stop by Sister Linda Thompson's house. Stop by Sister Shirley Smith's house. Sister McFadden's house. Sister Sims' house. And Mother Smith's house. Mother Talbot's house. Oh God, you able? Stop by look Camille in them house. And God, most of all, don't forget my house. Stop by, God. We need you, and we can't do nothing without you. Stop by, stop by Melanie's mother's house, Sister Betty. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, and there's somebody on the line, got a J3LUMA. Uh, Who is that? I think there's Mother Tell. Stop by Mother Tabitha's house. And I'm trying not to miss nobody on the night. But God, you know everybody on this line. You know all of us on this line. Names is no problem for you. Yes. Numbers are no problem for you. And you don't have to just pick whose house to go to. The good part about it, God, you can stop by all of our house at the same time yes. and do what we need done. Yes. yes. And God, we're asking you to fix everything on this line need to be fixed and put everything in place that need to be put in place. Make way, solve problems, meet need. Give us the strength that we need. Keep our bodies healed and strong. God, you're able to work out the situation for Oakwood as a whole. Oh yes. God, and go all the way to Washington, D.C. Fix it, oh God. We're going to pray our will in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you for all yes. things. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 May the Lord watch. May the Lord watch. Between me and thee. Between me and thee. Wow. One from another. One from another. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now what I say unto one. What I say unto one. I say unto all. I say unto all. Watch. Watch. And pray. And pray. May God bless you until we meet again. I love all of y'all. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Good night. <laughs>